welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today we have issue 46 of the Spitfire now like I said before I am going to um, record these videos not do live streams anymore and to tell you the truth um, it's one of the best things that's happened because uh, I've had quite a lot of feedback from the recording I did of issue 45 so yeah my decision is to keep it like that because it just worked out really well um, and I've had some fantastic feedback as well about it so absolutely brilliant but yeah um, I'm gonna get started on uh, this issue today so with all that said let's get modeling okay before we start building confession time um, I made a little bit of a boo-boo with um, this issue. Um, basically, when I did the last live build, I actually um, built this issue using the LED and everything from this issue. So, as you can see on there, it should have been 44, but it actually is 46. So, I've had to go back in and just change a few things. Um, because on the uh, red side, uh, the port side of the wing, it was a green LED that was on there and not a red LED. So I've had to go back, change a few things around. So that's my confession. So like uh, in the first step, we've got to put the LED on the cable. I've already done that obviously because I did that in the live build. But I will, I will do is I'll just take this uh, bit off. Um, and as you can see, that's the cable there. Okay, so we'll move on to step two. And step two is we need to bring the aircraft across. So let's bring it across. Here we go. And what we're doing now is we're going to fit the landing light in. So I'm also going to take the wire off this. <coughs> and I'm just going to try and bob that wire down there. Just so it's out of the way because it can be in the way as we found out previously. And I'm just going to bob the landing gear down here into position and that's lovely gone into position as you can see okay so the next bit we need to do is we need to put um, this small piece off the sprue into the two holes to hold that side of a landing light down if I've said landing gear, I do apologise, it is the landing light. Now, these landing lights are going to be operated manually. It does say in the magazine, it's a shame, but I'm just thinking, did they have enough room for all the uh, electrics? But we do need to glue this in place. Now, we've got to be careful that we don't glue this. Put my glue, glue pot down that we don't glue this we don't touch the landing gear uh, not landing gear, I keep calling it landing gear, the landing light and the reason for that is we don't want to glue it in place so just going to get some glue and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bob it either side I'm not going to use a lot because it doesn't need a lot and that way, I've got no chance of getting any of that glue on that landing light mechanism. And then we need to get our piece and chuck it across the room. <coughs> I'm joking. And lock that into place, just like that. I'm just going to get a screwdriver just to hold it down in place just like that so if that screwdriver's in your way okay now we've done that the next part we need to do is we need to take part e from this but i've already done that because of the mistake i made and we need to put this in place so all we need to do is bob that onto there <laughs> and then we need to screw it down. Screws it's wants us to use is two times four millimeter screws. They are the largest screws that we get uh, in this issue. And remember the screws will define 
how tight the screws are will define how far how stiff sorry the landing light comes up and down so we can adjust the what I would call stiffness of it so let's check it so that's up that's down and I'm quite happy with that I don't think we need to adjust that anymore okay so the next bit we need to do is we're going to be doing some sort of cable tidying well first actually what we need to do is we need to put the LED light into place now I've tested this bulb and it does work if we're just gonna I can just move it down there we go just gonna put this bulb into place and then just put that tape back over it just like so okay right so the next bit we need to do I'm just trying to make sure I get this in camera angle we need to do a bit of uh, cable management so this wire is gonna come down and it's to go into this first clip just here just like that and then if we follow it down we have another clip just down there and we pop it into place just like that okay Turn the page of the magazine over. So that's the uh, port, uh, starboard uh, LED cable in place. Um, then what we need to do is we need to get the landing light cable because that is going to follow in this channel. There's like a channel here, and that's going to follow in, moving down the aircraft. And then we need to clip it there's like a little clip there underneath just like that right so that's the uh, land, uh, landing gear cable what we need to do next is we've got the uh, fiber optics for the machine guns now this is a bit different that's asking us to actually go around this loop here and with that try and get it red side up I prefer red side up because then I can trace the wires we put the starboard LED in there and then we can secure them wires down because we have got this bit on the sprue here that's going to hold it down so just snip that off the sprue get make sure I've got a screw ready now these screws they're wanting us to put it in with some 1.4 times 4 millimeter screws and for that I'm actually having to use the wearer PH triple uh, screwdriver if I can get it on me my thing right right so it's a matter of just getting these wires in place getting this on top And then getting a screw in as quickly as possible. The last side I had no issues with, but this side seemed to be having a few issues. So let's do this again. So I've just got my screw loaded up. Why is it the simplest tasks are sometimes the worst? Right. 
I'm going to hold that down. No, nope. really struggling with this. I don't know why. It shouldn't be such a, a struggle. So let's try again. I think it might be my hands are a little bit slippy because I've just been in the shower. That could be the problem here. So. And there we go, that's gone in like that. I can now get another screw and get the other side in and then secure it down properly. That was being a little bit of a nightmare, that one. But I must admit, these screws are absolutely tiny. And now I'm dropping my screwdriver on the floor. <sighs> okay, so that's now in place. And then we just need to do like we've done is follow these wires down into the channel and then just move it across a bit and then into the, I would say like a, it's more like a cable grip really. And there we go. And that's all the wires now in place. I'm really happy with that. And then what I'll do just after is I'll clump all these together like I have done there, just so that there's not wires absolutely everywhere. And that's it for this issue, issue 36. So I've quite enjoyed that. Um, it's looking really nice now is this uh, Spitfire. Well, it was looking nice in the first place, but it's uh, really, really coming together now. And I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I just will note though, because it does say on the magazines, uh, piece B and D are not used um, anymore. Um, they worked it out after production. So this can just be thrown away uh, in the bin. So that's issue 36 complete. Well, that's it guys for today's uh, Spitfire. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, it's uh, a lot of electrics now coming on the bus, on, on the bus, on the aircraft. Um, so we've got the landing gear, we've got the machine guns, we've got the landing uh, lights, we have the port and starboard lights, we have the propeller, and then we have the electrics in the cockpit. Wow, that's a lot, a lot of stuff to put into a model. It really is. But it's really, really going to make this Spitfire in a league of its own. I can guarantee that. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe. And bye for now. I'd just like to give a shout out to all my patrons that help and support the channel. Please check out their channels on YouTube as well. And thank you very much for watching.